Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make use of Leonardo image. So we are going to use Leonardo image to actually generate images, um, making use of their real-time image generator. And you can tell me how this actually looks. Now let's dive into that. So to start doing this, you actually need to sign up to Leonardo image. Go ahead and type in Leonardo dot ai and it's going to display a login area where you actually sign up you sign up and then you enter in um your username and then you, we can start working on leonardo so after you sign up and created your username is going to display this area now on default this is actually the home page this displays um leonardo logo and next to it is very is this very important point this on default gives you 150 points to start with and is actually generated or reset every um seven hours so every seven hours is going to reset and you are going to get 150 back so if you have used up your um, coin or your generation coin is going to finish up and you actually need to restart and also if you decide to purchase you can click on upgrade and you can make purchase they actually have a very good pricing for their purchase you can actually go for it for um, ten dollar per month or let's say twenty four dollar per month whichever one you want go ahead and choose and have fun with ai now you can see the image the options and what they have in store they have an image generation um an image generation and they have a real-time canvas which you can actually draw and it converts your drawing into a real image in real time and then there is also a canvas editor where you can edit refine and add detailed images and also remove unwanted elements on your um, canvas and then modify it to give you the exact look that you want and also guys finally you actually have the motion option which is the last one they have which is four elements or four features that leonardo ai has now if you look on the left hand area is actually on the home if you scroll down you are going to see even more thing which is actually the community area now if you do not want to do that you can just click on this community section and it's going to take you to the same community area that was displaying below and on this area you can see all of the existing image created by the community if you scroll and you see any image you like and you want to recreate that image all you need to do is to click on any of them and it's going to open up whenever it opens up you are going to see an option to actually recreate this is actually the prompt you can easily copy this prompt by highlighting and doing ctrl c or you can just click on remix and then you recreate this particular ai tool you can edit it any way you want let me go ahead and click on remix so that you will see so when you click on remix it's going to give you every features of that particular image that was created by the original owner now um do not pay attention to the below work so you can see that this image has been recreated twice or has been remixed twice by two different people these are the element that was used this is everything every information you want to know and if there are some things you want to change here you can always click and then you type in your own words and then you notice it says by so 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 you can just put in by your name and then you add in more detail and then you generate so if you do that it's going to generate your image and display after this one so this is actually a particular image i generated few few minutes ago so i do not want to actually generate this image and when you generate your image it's going to cost you point also pay attention to this particular area when you generate an image and you use let's say you want to generate up to four images with that particular point it's going to increase the points that you will spend you are going to spend up to 23 but if you decide to make this just two it's going to reduce the points that you are generating the image with but the more the point the more it gives you different options to choose from so consider what you want to do and then you know you can also scroll down you can select the image dimension and you can also select um if you want it to be different uh you can just use a customized dimension and after that guys uh you can go ahead and generate your image but i do not want to do that with this image we are going to come back to it so let me go back to the home page by clicking on the logo now um next area is actually your personal feds now this personal fed is actually what shows all your previous job or all your previous images that you generated so far in the leonardo ai and you can also click and also remix them make some changes to um, however you want it to look like and it's going to give you your result and if you decide to train your own um, ai or to train your own 
to train the uh, Leonardo AI to understand what project you want to work on or probably you want it to replicate a particular image repeatedly. You can do that by clicking on training and data set. All you need to do is to click on new data set and add all of the images so that AI is going to understand and replicate that particular image. But I do not want to do that right now. I am going to do it on a different video. And then if you also want to fine tune a model, which is probably using their own pre-created model to actually fine tune to your own, you can click on that and then choose a particular option there are so many options that you can see right here if you click on them it's going to display the information for you and you on on the bottom you are going to see even more information wait for it is loading these are more information on the bottom so if you are okay with any of them just go ahead and click on it and it's going to load up so let's assume this particular fox is this a fox or a wolf that's a wolf not a fox looks like yeah, it's a wolf, not a fox. So when you click on it, um, this is the image. I do not understand the language. Oh, is a fox? Ah, oh, wow, that's lovely. So you can always recreate this. I do not understand. The person does not speak English. Um, you can always generate this image with this model, and it's going to give you exactly the same result. But I'm actually not going to do that because um, I'm just showing you guys something different on this video. But do not worry, we are going to come to this so now let's go ahead and generate an image this particular option allows you to generate an image this one also allows you to generate an image in real time by drawing and this also allows you to do a real time generation also and this allows you to edit your canvas and the sec and the last one allows you to um do test shot generation now test shot generation is for people that are creating game and 3d animation for their assets they can always make use of this and have it and you can also make use of the AI or you can probably come here to do some settings or you can log out if you are ready to log out but then let's go ahead and generate an image now i already have a prompt i i have in mind that i want to use i i generated this prompt and in in chat gtp you can just see just now so i'm going to highlight this i'm going to delete this that is actually the previous one that was there before so on default you actually have to use this image to actually generate now all you need to do is to put in your type, type in your prompt right here and then you hit generate now after you hit generate it's going to display you the information and they are all good to go so i am going to click on generate right now to generate my image by tapping on this So it's going to load up your image in this area. You can see it, but I actually chose to, so that it won't consume too much of the points that has been given to me. So that's the reason why I chose it. If not, I can just um, leave it to four on default, but I decided to choose two because I wanted to generate less image. And also if you want it to be, um, if you want this, your image generation to be a real time image generation, um, it's going to also increase the quality. You can go ahead and choose that by clicking on this. But I'm actually okay with the settings I have right now. So um, let's wait for it to load up. And this is taking longer time, probably because the image um, kind of look nice. Nice. This is way better than... Um, do not worry, I'm not comparing any AI image right now. So this is not bad. So this is an AI image based off of um, cyberpunk generated image. You can see in a cyberpunk feature um, image where uh, a corporation controls everything written in a scene where a cunning um, hacker force infiltrate the mega corporation. So then this is actually the uh, AI generation of this image. So guys, this is awesome. So there are so many things you can do. Now, if you like this image, you can click on it and go ahead and download the image now i just clicked on download and it's going to load up so you can see the image has been downloaded now if you do not like it you can click on delete that is if that is what you want next you can actually see if you want to upscale your image you notice the option for the upscaling of images right here so you can go ahead and upscale the image or probably you want um, the image to have a smoother texture and which include illustration and you can always click on this and it's going to give you that feel but i think i'm actually okay with this style now let's move on to the next um to the next thing i actually want to show you guys so uh let me quickly uh do a download for this 
now let me go ahead and navigate back you can notice that my point actually dropped after generating that image now let's go ahead and do a canvas in real time canvas editor we are going to come to the real time and the real image generation on a different video uh, but we might never do this texture design but now let's work on the canvas now the canvas is actually going to allow you to do a lot of things but depending on exactly what you want you can actually do a lot in this image so when you open your canvas at first is actually blank and you can notice this area we can actually drag this around right now if you want you can choose your pick tool and drag this around if you do not want it to be dragged around you can click on it and you notice it's been locked so now you can no longer move it around like i just did so now the first thing you need to do is actually to bring an image now you can either bring in a new image or you can just type a prompt right here so i'm just going to bring an image that is already existing from my previous generation and you can actually uh, add an image from your computer or you can come and add image from the community but i think i want to go with the image i have actually generated so i'm going to pick two of my images um the fox guy so i'm going to pick this one and then um, i'm going to zoom out sorry i am very used to using this zoom key so you can actually zoom out by clicking on this percentage this 75 percent option and then i'm going to scale it down to 25 percent so that i'll be able to see properly so i want it to be at that area so that i can see and i can come again and do from previous generation i want to bring in another image now i have my reason for this so i i think i'm okay with this one i'm going to choose this so it's going to come in uh wait for it it's going to load up now it has loaded up i'm going to move this by the side make sure you actually have the same proportion because that's exactly what i'm doing now i have both of them side by side but now you can notice when you look closely to the image let me go ahead and zoom in you can use the plus to zoom in and the minus to zoom out i think i'm okay with this now if you notice very well this area there is actually a line in between and i want it to be covered up now to cover this up is actually very simple there's this image is here and this other one is also here you can also cover that image up very easy um first let me select this image and then i am going to okay i think i'm actually okay with where it's positioned instead i am going to unlock this you notice it has been unlocked and i'm going to select it i'm going to deselect by clicking outside and then selecting this and moving it on top the image on top both of the image and then leaving it there so on this my prompt area i am going to type merge so i am going to hit generate and it's going to start generating you can notice right there is being generated and already there are some options here but i just leave that on default because i actually just want to merge the two image as one so it's going to take his time and it's going to merge the image for us let's wait for it this doesn't take time except your internet is as poor as mine because my internet is quite poor all right this has completed and if you notice right there it says four options are available now if you click on forward just notice the image changes right now i think i'm actually okay with this second one but you can keep clicking clicking to just see the one that is going to make more sense without anybody noticing that this has been merged now you might not actually understand what i'm saying clearly if you are not um working on my pc because um let me go ahead and zoom out so that you see Okay, you're probably not going to see this way. Let me zoom in. Now, you can see right there. Let me use this, this pan tool. With the pan tool, you can move your image. Now, you can see very well that this area, there is black line here. And this one, there is no line because I just covered it. So, that is actually what I was trying to do. And it's remaining the bottom one. I am going to use my selection tool to select the same image and then move it downward. I think i'm okay with this area because if you notice this is what is remaining right now so the merge is already typed i'm going to click on generate so it's going to take its time to generate this and it's going to merge the image together so after you merge the image together um the image is going to look perfectly uh, perfectly merged 
but then i am going to make this one look a bit different so that you guys will actually see how it works in real time this tool is actually very awesome i don't know if you have used them or if you've never used them but if you are new to this you actually need to use it and i think guys you are going to get used to this um using this tool very well and this has actually loaded up and you can see again four images i can go forward and choose the perfect one I if you ever want to delete anything on this ai or on the picture you can always do that by highlighting that particular section now let's say i want to delete something you can choose this particular option that says draw mask right now you can choose that and paint over the area you want to delete right just paint over it All right, I am just going to leave this as um, mask or let's say clear. This is not necessary, though, but just make sure you have this selected. And also, if this particular dimension is too big, go ahead and reduce it. And you can also reduce it a bit further by um, doing this or increasing it also. When you increase it, just observe this area is going to increase. Let me just reduce, select this one. You can see it begin to increase, right? But just make sure you actually choose the right size, but making it smaller is just this one on default. So I'm just going to move this up a little so that you guys will see. And then go ahead and hit generate and you can notice it will start generating. So it's going to generate and it should give us different option for us to clear that particular image area. Wait for it. All right, done. you can see, so this is a different one. You might not notice that. You can press forward. You will see a different effect appear. Now you see that it looks, it's looking different from the previous one. I think this one, no, the previous one, this is better. So I'm going to click on accept. So then um, if you decide to use the eraser tool, you can still use the eraser tool to wipe off a part of the image that you don't like but i don't think you would prefer to do this or you would want to do this so let's go ahead and leave the image the way it is so um, that is everything i want to show you on this video and if you decide to download this image you satisfied with everything you can always hit download artwork to start downloading and it's going to start downloading you already started it's right here and it's complete so this is my artwork and once again this is going to be saved to my work area or my area of work at this time. And guys, what do you think? You didn't even notice there is any um, thing here, right? This looks very well and very sharp. So um, I hope this video is helpful, guys. There is a lot of things that Leonardo AI can do, and I cannot see everything on this video. I am going to look for a better time to further explain and describe more things that Leonardo AI can do. And if you decide to make use of a test, you can always use click on this area to use your test. And once you're done with everything, you can always go to the home page. This is actually your home. Sorry, I opened this initially. Now let me go ahead and choose this move or rather click to. Now for some reason this just zoomed out and I cannot see anything. Let me go ahead. All right, so this is, is this is what I was looking for exit editor. I think I zoomed in too much, so I wasn't even seeing. This is the exit editor. So all I need to do is to click on exit editor, and it's going to exit the editor. So um, you can always see your personal uh, feds here, and you see the previous job you've done. They are all going to be right here. But the canvas is totally different. The canvas is just for editing your um, either an existing image or um, a different image and also you can always edit a particular existing image now let me click on this and i can do remix you know what guys i'm going to show you that in a different video in order not to make this video too long so um i will see you on my next video stay safe and peace